Hello everyone, my name is Scott Kendire. We're here at Boza Foods today to talk about some new cheeses that we're bringing in from Italy. It's a very exciting time because we've got a bunch of cool stuff from Italy. We've got some stuff from Holland. We've got some stuff from Spain that we'd like to talk about and some charcuterie item. And the goal here is to kind of show you what we have and how easy it is you can build a charcuterie plate at your own home. I'm very lucky to be joined today with my good friend, Chef Jeff Park from well, the Salted Vine restaurant in Squamish. And uh, if you haven't been there, you should check it out. The food is first class, right? Thanks for having me. My pleasure. So we're gonna just go around the table. Some of these things are new to me, so I'm, I'm kind of excited to share it with you and, and just awesome. kind of get your notes and, and yeah. see what your t feedback is on some of these things. And then we can show the people how to do it at home. Sounds good. So on this board, I have some product here that's uh, pretty cool, all from Italy in the front here from the company called Latteria Italiana. We have a Monte Grappa Stagionato, a Toma Piemontese. This is a DOP product, Montasio DOP. So this is uh, from a slightly different region. We have the San Pio. This is a special one. It's a San Pio with a sparkling white wine coating on the rind and infused in the cheese, which is pretty exciting. Oh, wow. And over here, we have a nice uh, Toma di Savoie. Forgive my pronunciation. That one's from France. Why don't we dig in? It's good to know. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to? Grab sure. the cheese knife there and grab some portions. Oh yeah. So let's try this Monte Grappa. Yeah, okay. Some for me, thank you, chef. That's nice. Oh wow, nice. There's lots oh, of- I think the temperature is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit more aged, so you kind of yeah, taste yeah, that richness. The, yeah. A little bit a of A little bit of salt crystals. Yeah. Some salt crystals, yeah. some calcium in there. Yeah. So it's smooth, but it's got a little bit of graininess. Well, that's great. Yeah. I like that one. The next time we'll go to the Toma Piemontesi. So there are various, like, I mean, you know, there's lots of different Tomas out there. Uh, Toma is kind of your, your farm cheese or your most manufacturers or most farmsteads that have uh, cheeses will have a Toma and this is their basic milk cheese. But this is not a basic cheese. This is pretty exciting cheese. It's got a, it's got a washed rind on yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, a little gnarly really looking on the outside. Yeah, exactly. That means goodness. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Mm. You can definitely taste the, uh, the washed rind sort of. Yeah, it's got flavor. a little. Yeah, yeah, it's got a little. Um, some bitterness, yeah. some sweetness. Uh, Thirty-two percent milk fat, so definitely a full cheese too. Why don't we try the uh, Montasio? It's a DOP product as well. Another regional. Okay. Thank you, chef. Very mild, right? Very mild. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very mild. Would be perfect for grating. Mm -hmm. When Very you mild. want to control the salt balance, you can use a cheese like that, and you can grate it on pasta and things like this. Are you, and are you ready for the... Um, I am so yeah. excited to try this one. <laughs> yeah. It's the one with the wine, right? Yeah, that's okay. the San Pio Alvino Bianco. So it's, you know, it's got a um, sparkling white wine uh, coating the rind. And as well, inside the cheese, you should be, be able to pick up some of those white wine kind of mm. flavors. What do you think of that? Yeah. yeah I love your reaction. <laughs> yeah. That's, no, no. It's, that's you know, what maybe I've like. been waiting for that yeah. uh, for a while. But yeah. then um, it's got, it's got, it's I hope got it a delivered. totally different uh, tasting note than... Yeah. Any other cheese. There you go. It's got that nice nutty, buttery kind of. It's got the aging, mm -mm. and then it's got that wine finish. Yeah, exactly. Certainly, I would say they're all nice, but that one's kind of special. It is very special. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! So again, that's the San Pio Alvino Bianco. I gotta remember actually, that. Actually, first class. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. This one's from France, actually, and um, I mean, I haven't even tasted this myself. This is so new to us, so. Oh yeah, mm. buttery, very creamy. Do, do we do you know how long it's like aged or the way it looks? I'm thinking 12 yeah. to 14 months. Yeah, um, you can see some of the holes that are forming and, and some of the maturing under the skin. Yeah. You see it's a little darker. I mean, no real wrong choices on yeah. this board, but that definitely is a good time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Any favorites? It's, it's, you know what? It's well balanced. Mm. Mm. It's a white wine that that's that's most predominant like strong flavor stronger yeah. flavor than other ones yeah but then um montesillo has a very mild but yeah i, I have to say uh, the the monte grappa and the uh, the, the san pio x yeah those guys are at the top at the yeah. forefront because i do i do i do love the stronger flavor of it yeah because uh, i think it always uh, when you when you do a um, um when you assemble the charcuterie board, uh, it actually kind of enhances the uh, the flavor of the meat because uh, right. sometimes meat might have a too salty taste and all that stuff, but then uh, it might wake up the palate, but it kind of melts it out somehow yes. uh, with, the, with, the, with the little bit stronger flavor. So when you're approaching stuff. a charcuterie yeah. board, you're looking at it 
on the whole in terms of balance and what complements each other? Yeah, at Salted Vine, a lot of times we get asked uh, for a chef choice. Oh, okay. Uh, when I get a chef choice, uh, yeah. uh, probably what I'm gonna uh, plate with, 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 you know, go to Italy, go to Spain, or go to like, you know, like Canada. Mm -hmm. You know, we like to showcase everywhere um, that, that, you know, because I always think the food is, uh, is about the journey. So That's you go right. over there, you go over here, you go. Cheese so, knows no walls. Exactly. Let's continue with some of the things from Holland. I have uh, some authentic Gouda is here. This is a Dutch Gouda that is a cumin spiced Gouda. Wow. Something different. Mm. And then this is uh, extra aged. So that one's going to have a lot of nuttiness and flavor. This is a, uh, of course, their blue cheese. That's an authentic Danish blue cheese. This is an Iberico cheese, which is from Spain. This is a raclette, uh, the Switzerland cheese. And this is from France, which is the Arpia de Brebis or the Petite Brebis, which is, you know, why don't we dive in and yeah, sure. uh, give it a try? Let's try the age. So this is the Cas Coper line of Danish uh, cheeses, Danish Gouda. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that's good. I can taste the age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crumbling. Yeah. Mm, I like this one. Very nice aged Gouda. Yeah. Lots of dry texture, kind of crumbles. You're very familiar with Manchego, but the interesting thing about this guy is, is all three milks. Mm. That's what oh, wow. makes this cheese. It's your goat, your sheep, and your cow's milk yeah. all in one cheese. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I guess it's good to know. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to figure out what, what, what's, the, what's the flavor that I'm tasting. Mm -hmm. Very mild. I definitely pick yeah. up the goat the most. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I do. Beautiful. Mm. Well, shall we go blue? Yeah, sure. Let's try the Danish blue. I love blue. Yeah. Creamy. Look at those blue veins. Got the... Broken Ford Penicillium right there. Mm. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's an accessible That's, blue. Yeah. Mm. Not too strong. Not too strong. Yeah. It doesn't really bite you too much. It's just kind of nice. This is a very aged piece exactly. of exactly Parmesan. You can, you can see by its color. From Italy. Yeah, yeah. You can see the crystals. This is a 48 month Parmesan product from Italy. Very exclusive because they don't make this kind of age too much. So, you know, you get it while we got it. Yeah. Once it's gone, it's history. So we're very lucky to have this right now. Nutty, mm. rich, a lot of flavor, a lot of age on that product. Oh, it must be nicer when you just grate and something on top of it. Absolutely. It comes out. Yeah. Absolutely. It's oh. fantastic. This is from France. Yeah. It's called the Arpia de Brebis. Mm, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Smells good. Mm -hmm. It kind of comes from the same region you're going to get. Like, um, Basque onetic or yeah. Grand Cru cheeses and exactly. things like that. This is a similar oh, wow. kind of part of that family. You know what? It's not too creamy, but it's still got the texture. Yep. I love it. Look at this beautiful thing. This is called Toma de la Roca. We actually okay. cut this off a larger. Uh, it comes about a bigger wheel, about two kilos. Um, and as well, we have the Castabello from Alta Langa. Beautiful cheeses. This one is nice and creamy. Very, very creamy and very soft. So probably that one we should try with some crackers or some sure. skinny thins. Wow. There you go. Thank you, chef. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't even like this one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. It has enough acidity. Yeah. It's quite, uh, yeah. there's a tanginess. Yeah, I know. That's good. Creamy. That's actually very good. Very nice. Mm-hmm. So that's the Toma de la Roca. And that other one? Castel Bello. And these are from Italy as well. So it kind of oh, gone Italy, back okay. to Italy, yep. Super mild. Very nice, mm -hmm. creamy, mild. mild. So let's continue on. Now we've tried a bunch of cheeses and we have some beautiful charcuterie from Italy and uh, some Spanish product as well. We'll save that for the last. Okay. Uh, we have some Sopresa Veneta. Uh, pork salami seasoned very simply with some uh, salt and pepper spices mm. and allowed to age. Yeah. Uh, this is a beautiful product. Smells great. Yeah, nice. Mm. Just simple. Yeah. You know, nothing crazy going on. Very mellow. Mm -hmm, mellow. Not in your face. Like, but it's got that know. coarse ground, uh, some nice bits of fat in there. And it's beautiful. Awesome. Not too salty either. You know, that's what happens with the, the room temperature, perfect temperature meat. This is uh, very nice and mellow. Melt in your mouth. Always serve it at room temperature. So this is the mm. one, it's a pork belly. Yeah. 
and then they've uh, smoked it lightly with you can, hickory. You can, you can definitely taste the smoke. And the in smell. Italian, you know, you say pancetta, yeah. affumicata. Yeah. That's that guy. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and it's nice. You can taste the meat. Yeah. The, 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 there's a little bit of fat on there, but it's it's pretty. Not too it much. Melts. Yeah. That's great. Another item. Yeah. Uh, beside it, this guy is a coarse ground pork salami as well, but this one is truffle. Okay. You like truffle? I, you know what? I thought I was looking at a black pepper kernel. Yeah, these are, it's a truffle. You get that nice oh, summer I can, truffle. I can, I can smell it. Yeah. So you actually have pieces of truffle in mm. this one. So this one's a little bit all about wow factor, you know, with the truffle. And um, again, another coarse, coarse ground pork salami from Italy. Yeah. With That's truffle. great. Did you like that one? I can definitely taste. Yeah. Exactly. Not too overpowering though with the truffle. It's nice yeah. and balanced. Right here, chef, we have a bayon. Ham okay. From France. So this is a true bayon from France. Oh, mellow that mellow. is. Mellow, yeah, exactly. Mm. You taste the, the the quality of the lifestyle the animal yeah. had. Beautiful. Not over salted. As and we get to the to, end. Yeah. We're going to Spain, right? Now we're in Spain. Yeah. What I have here is a Spanish version of a prosciutto, I guess. Pata Negra Iberico ham is the Iberico di Bolota. Yeah. So this animal, you know, it sleeps under the stars. It eats acorns acorn, its whole yeah. life. And you get that acorn. Uh, definitely a luxury item. Very fatty. Mm. Very just buttery. I can I can taste the acorn. I still remember the first yeah. time I tried bolota. Yeah. My knees started shaking. <laughs> it was like anything I tried before. The fat coming oh, out yeah. of it, yeah. That's and awesome. It's, it's very nutty. It's, it's very awesome. nice. And this one I know because uh, it's one of my favorite. That's your... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don Pedro Iberico oh, yes. di Bolota chorizo. It's not a spicy chorizo. More fat. <laughs> I love this product. Yeah, once amazing. you enter into a Bolota yeah. world, it's uh, it's quite amazing. And you really taste the acorn. Yes. Wow. And it's just got enough kick to it. So uh, yeah. yeah, just a little hint of kick. Yeah. No, that's great. And I think one left side? here is this. Is um, we have one more pancetta on the corner. Is, oh, is that the, from? Where it's, is it from? It's from, um, it's produced uh, in Napoli by the same company here. And uh, it's a pork belly as okay. well. Thank you, chef. And, but this one is the unsmoked variety. So mm. we have two. Okay. You can uh, offer a product with a bit of smoke or you can offer the same product unsmoked. Just depending on what you're going to coordinate exactly. on your board. So some, some people might not like the, the smokiness of it. So we offer both options. Okay. Mm. It's almost tastes like a ham. Yeah. A little more hammy, yeah. Yeah. a little more neutral. So that's the main thing we we really like about these kind of products is you know they take the time to cure it and age it properly, so you're not relying on a lot of salts to do yeah, that curing and, and work for you. And that's the only way you can do that is by allowing it to have time to do it properly. Yeah. So. No, it's great information. Beautiful product. Should we just? Uh, yeah. Let's play it, uh, uh, play it a little. Uh, let's. Plate? Yeah. I have a board here. Yeah. So we're gonna do a chef's plate charcuterie but I like to just have a little bit of uh, like a smokiness and you know it's, it's, it should be well balanced so I'll do a little bit of ones that has a little bit of height on it so beautiful so that's I'll the that. uh, that's the bayon yep I like the truffle so uh, you know what? nice and I like to give a little bit of space in between so then uh, it doesn't get mixed into uh, okay. you know, other stuff so okay. okay these are insider tips <laughs> Pancetta has a little bit of nice. So you got the rolled and then yep. you got the smoked exactly. on there. Beautiful. And just because we have a two pork belly, I'll just go with two. Oh, then, uh, going for the one, chorizo below That's my favorite. Oh, uh, yeah. So I just uh, stand it up on the side like this. Nice. Yep. And sometimes, you know, less is more. So I'm just going to have. So we'll maybe, go with the yeah, five meats. Go with the five meats. Okay. Maybe like. I don't know, three kind of cheese. Okay. So I'll just go with... Yeah, you want to get like a nice blue, blue on there. Yep. Yes. And per cheese, uh, the recommended sort of, you know, the, the portion size uh, at the restaurant, we do about 30 grams each cheese. So okay. it all depending on how many uh, how many guests that you serve. But you know what? I think 30 grams of each cheese should do it. Okay. So at the restaurant... And we... that's kind of for two people. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Well, for you, it's just one, but... <laughs> The normal people will just I like my charcuterie three, and exactly. cheese board. Soft oh, cheese. Yeah. And these are my favorite of the day. 
So yeah, the Toma de la Roca won the day, huh? Exactly. Wow, okay. So I'll do, you know what? I this. knew it, I knew it. So we're gonna go with the San Pio Vino Bianco. Okay. All right. So I just place that right there. Okay, and then um, we'll just use a little bit of uh, dry fruits. So you wanna put some, some, you know, some different items, some fruits, some nuts. Yeah. I have a beautiful spice pear. So it's good to have some sweet, sweet components, some savory, some salty. Yeah. Uh, you can get some olives in here. Yep, some beautiful Casa Vetrano olives. olives. Like, you want to yeah. get some of the Bortani onions? Oh on yes, there? as I'm going there. Yeah. Yes. And then you can always put it on top of the meats too. You don't. You don't always have to hide and everything on the bottom of uh -huh. it. So a couple of them there. So really, this is something yeah. people can really do at home. You know, we don't we don't really have a rule on how to plate all that stuff, but as uh, long as you know it has a little bit of space in between, so we can good. always do it that way. Some skinny and thins, some, some crackers. Okay. I think it's perfectly for two. That looks perfect. And then glass of white wine or red wine, or you know, it could be a little grappa or you know. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So we have some almonds, we have some olives, we have crackers, we have yeah. cheese, we have meats. That's beautiful. So once again, I'm here with uh, Chef. Jeff Park from the Salted Vine Restaurant in Squamish here at Boza Foods in Vancouver. I'm Scott Kendaya. Thank you very much for joining us for our cheese presentation today.